Now, I'm pretty sure this is going to annoy you guys, and this sort of annoys me. I mean, if you want to do it, that's fine, but I'm concerned about the fact that it's using money from te- NASA. NASA is giving a million dollars to a religious group to study the religious implications of extraterrestrial life. I don't get this. What does this have to do with NASA? Why should NASA be giving a theological organization money to study this? If they want to study it, that's fine. But we just have to look at evolution and just about everything in science that religion has rejected and realize how bad an idea this is. Maybe I guess they want to head them up and get it sold that the religious are on board from the start. But I still don't like this idea. Because I have a bad feeling that this is going to be one of these situations where religions are going to set limits. You know, the, you know, the usual stuff like, we may be able to discover this point, but beyond this point is God or something like that. Or that aliens were created by God. I mean, growing up, I always used to heard, you know, UFOs and aliens were from or s- demons and Satan. And if aliens really did arrive on this planet, it would be demons in disguise. Like, I have grew up in all this kind of nonsense. It's a whole fear. Or E.T. People were afraid of E.T. because he, he says, well, see, kids watch E.T. And then they'll accept the demons when they show up as aliens. Well, it's this sort of nonsense. This sort of fear mongering. I'm sure you Hopefully, a theological organization isn't going to be doing that. But this is the kind of thing I'm concerned about. Now, if you want to do it on your own, that's fine. But where are they getting taxpayer money from to do this? Why are we giving money to an organization that not that long ago would have been antithetical to this whole idea? It's just bothersome. I like to hear your guys' thoughts on this, but it disturbs me. Especially the fact that it's coming from NASA's budget.